Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerBoxingNews.com. On Roku, we're in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's a story today that might be flying below radar that you, the boxing hardcore, need to know about. Cuban heavyweight. Luis Ortiz has signed, or rather his promotional group has signed a co-promotional agreement with Golden Boy. This is huge news. Luis Ortiz is a southpaw heavyweight who in my opinion is better than some of the names being bandied about in the press today. I made a video about a year ago talking about Luis Ortiz. Unfortunately for him, he just didn't have the connections. He just didn't have the inside track to be on the big boxing cards that we love and enjoy on channels like Showtime and HBO. Well now, with this link to Golden Boy, you're going to be hearing a lot more of him. Let me tell you a little bit more. As an amateur, Ortiz had a record of 343 wins to only 19 losses. He currently is a WBO Latino heavyweight champion, right? He is unbeaten. Now, he is 34 years old, but understand heavyweights age a bit differently than they do at the other weight classes. Let me also say, too, skill-wise, Ortiz already is contender level, right? Also, the fact that he's a southpaw makes him a bit of a novelty in the division. We've seen how Tony Thompson's southpaw stance has gotten him two different shots at Vladimir Klitschko and has further frustrated young prospects like David Price who just weren't ready for it, right? Luis Ortiz is a southpaw and he's several years younger than Tony Thompson. He can also throw combinations. He's much more of a technician than he is an athlete, right? He's a counterpuncher. Let's talk about the downside. In my opinion, he's not in shape. In my opinion, he looks like he is going to have stamina problems against the high end of the division. This is a guy who, in my opinion, gets winded after a few rounds. Also, we criticize fighter Gary Russell for not fighting meaningful competition. If you look up Luis Ortiz's level of competition, you're going to find out that just a few fights ago, he fought someone making their boxing debut. He recently fought another guy who had a losing record. Let's just say that Ortiz has not pushed himself professionally. Nonetheless, let's just break down the tape. He's awfully good on tape. He's very hard to hit in the head. He's an excellent body puncher. He's an excellent chess player. He's a guy who can stand in front of you and can deconstruct you. That's rare in the heavyweight division. And now he's fighting with Golden Boy. If you see Luis Ortiz in the ring against marginal opposition, in other words, if the fighter across from him is not one of the guys holding the heavyweight belt, one of the guys who has held the heavyweight belt, or someone you know, right? Tyson Fury, Kubrat Pulev, Kevin Johnson, right? If it's not someone on that level, you need to seriously give Ortiz a chance in the fight. And if Ortiz can up his physical fitness, as Adlener Solis has done, right? Then Ortiz could be a real threat in the division. He's now signed with Golden Boy. Keep an eye on this heavyweight. Thanks for stopping by.